Man up their weapon. So Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch decided to team up again in something else other than the Avengers. My name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Alright guys, thank you very much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Wind River. But before we get into the review, help me out by subscribing to this channel right now. Go ahead and click subscribe, click the bell so you can be notified. Also, give me that thumbs up, that like. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. All right, so now we have Wind River. And like I said before, it stars Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. I made the joke that they played Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch in the MCU. And in this one, they're teaming up again, but they're not teaming up to save the world. They're teaming up to try to investigate a murder. And that's just what this movie is about is... She is an FBI agent and Jeremy Renner's character is like a hunter slash tracker. And they're coming together to try to solve the mystery of a murder that happened on a Native American reservation in the state of Wyoming. What makes this movie crazy is it's crazy cold in this movie. There's nothing but snow, snowy mountains and snow lions. So you got to be careful. So it's really good to have a character like uh, Jeremy Renner's character in this movie. Um, this movie is based on actual events, not necessarily the whole thing is a true story. It is a dramatization of some actual events, but um, that did reveal itself towards the end. And it just really made me appreciate the film. The first thing I liked about it is how isolated the film made you feel, because they even say this in the trailer, like Elizabeth Olsen's character is like, hey, you know, shouldn't we wait for backup? And the sheriff tells her like, hey, there is no such thing as backup out here. You're on your own. And me that grew up in the suburbs and the cities and whatnot, I'm used to going out of my door and just a few feet away, I have a neighbor. But in this movie, when you go outside, the closest neighbor is like six to 10 miles away. So if you wanted to call 911, you know, you're pretty much up a creek. It's going to take at least an hour to get there or, you know, for the police and the paramedics to arrive. And that's just one thing that I liked about it. This movie is described as a crime um, action adventure uh, mystery and they're trying to investigate a murder so that just kind of makes it more creepy and eerie that they're trying to investigate a murder in the middle of nowhere and that anyone could be the assailant the antagonist that's getting away with all these murders um the next thing i liked about this movie is just the acting across the board when i say across the board i can't really say that to be honest with you because elizabeth olsen's character was nice but she just didn't do anything that blew me away but i was very impressed with jeremy renner's character to be honest this is the best acting that i've ever seen him be a part of in any film or form of entertainment now i haven't seen every movie that he's been a part of but the few that i have seen this one did uh, impress me the most uh something uh well now before i go there um there was another character that i don't know his name uh, he was a Native American gentleman. And there was a scene between Jeremy Renner's character, Elizabeth Olsen himself and a police sheriff. And that scene really moved me. It was very touching um, during that scene. And another, there was a tear that almost you know dropped from my face, but I had to catch it. But, you know, I did also hear other people in the auditorium in the theater sniffling and uh, whatnot because it was sad. But that scene right there really moved me. And as far as like what the characters are going through in this movie, is they well all of them seem to be in a position in their life that they're not happy to be in and they feel guilty but don't want to get out of that situation and you know i necessarily can't relate to that myself but i have met people that have before and this film also deals with you know loss or you know losing something that's very important and uh dear to you whether that's uh, a tangible thing or some metaphorical thing and most of the part in this movie, it has to deal with parents and them losing a loved one, especially like their children and them just the aftermath after that and how they have to cope and go on with their lives, especially being in the secluded remote area that they're in, in this snowy mountain town like Wyoming. It's really it's really draining and, and daunting. And it seems like these characters are putting themselves through some type of punishment that's just not completely necessary. Now, I'm not a parent myself, so I can't necessarily relate to the pain that they're going through. 
And this movie does speak volumes to parents, especially if you've lost someone before. I think that you will definitely be able to sympathize and empathize with these characters. But just because I'm not able to relate to them on that note, you know, I still somewhat do understand where they're coming from. And it is very powerful, especially when they're trying to emote, you know, their feelings on screen, exactly what they're going through at the time. Uh, something else that I really did like about this movie is Jeremy Renner's character. I liked his acting, but he just his character in general. He's like a master um, hunter slash tracker. I mean, this guy was tracking the mess out of everything. And I was just really impressed by that. I mean, he was really good. I, I don't go camping or hunting or, or uh, hiking or anything like that. I don't go tracking, so I don't know too much about it. But the little bit that I did see in this film, I did appreciate it. But if that is your cup of tea and you do see this movie, please let me know in the comment section below how valid uh, his tracking skills were because I'm really interested in just, you know, learning a little bit about that because just seeing him in this movie, you know, it, it is a nice, you know, survival tactic to have, you know, in your back pocket. And when I say, you know, it, it was also interesting because when they're trying to investigate this murder, you have some people over here and some people over there using their normal tools and utensils to try to get to the bottom of this. But no, he's off all over on the side doing his own thing with his binoculars and just using this and that. And I, I just real peculiar. And I'm just like, you know, wow, you know, I'm, I wonder what makes this method, you know, much better than this one. And uh, it got me curious and it really got me interested. And it was one scene where he was like, hey, do you see the tracks here? Well, it's turned six degrees this way. And then the toes are deeper in the ground than the back hill. So that means that they were running away and then they fell over here. But then their lungs exploded because of this over here. And I was just like, wow, how are you able to tell all this just by a, 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 a few crevices in the snow here and there? And so that was really impressive. You know, I did like that a lot. Also, towards the end of this film, there is a good sense of action that came out of nowhere. And I watched the trailer after for like the second or third time after I saw the movie. And I really didn't remember seeing the action in it. But there's a nice little bit of action towards the end that I really did like. The gunshots were very loud as well as all the punches and kicks. And it just really stood out to me as well because this movie is isolated in a remote location. Most of it is on the, on the mountainside or in the woods. So when a quiet movie like that, when gunshots are going off, bang, 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 super duper loud, it just is really intense. And this just creates a nice contrast from the quiet background that was surrounding us before. As far as everything else is concerned, there's really not too much to com complain about. I really did like the characters. I liked the location it was at. I was able to relate to them somewhat. And this movie, um, you know, is pretty sad and deals with a lot that a lot of people um, have gone through. Um, in this country, especially from the Native American community, they did pay a little tribute of respect to them towards the end of the film that I did appreciate it and just elevated the film a little bit higher than what I thought it was before. Um, this is a, you know, a touching movie. It's a slow movie. Um, not too slow. If I had to describe it in one sentence, I would say that it's a call burn to justice. And I'm pretty sure that once after you see the film, you'll know exactly what I mean about that. But I do recommend this to all. It is very entertaining and I think you should go see it. If I had to rate Wind River out of a 1 out of 10, I would give this movie a 9 out of 10. Yes, a 9 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Wind River? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's perfectly fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can go ahead and click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. I would really appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe so you can help me reach my first milestone of 1,000 subscribers. You can also uh, go to my website, check me out there. I do have written reviews and bookmark that, and also look it up, look me up on social media. And I really, I, I made it very easy for you guys, and have a link to all that in the description box. So, guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Wind River, starring Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brennan Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.